So after building the Master Grade SD Freedom, I got the urge to build another SD kit, and unfortunately the only one I have that's not built right now is the EX Standard Aerial Gundam. And uh, I think I've mentioned it before, I hate the EX Standard line. I only bought them, I don't have them all, but I have most of them only because they were the only SD line at the time. There were no other ones that were coming out, like, beside the BB Legend, but they're not, like, like no main series uh, Gundam, so... They were filling the itch at the time, but why it hasn't died, I don't know. But we have the like far superior cross silhouette. This should have been a cross silhouette. No excuse, Bandai. No excuse. Aside from the fact that you're just cheap. It's so weird to go from the Master Grade SD Freedom to this. It's so like a like whiplash. And lots of stickers. If you're wondering how many, well, basically no yellow at all. No yellow plastic. So any yellow you see, gotta be a sticker. It does have some smoky gray plastic here on the head. You cover the chest here, but it does have it there. And also you cover the ones on the uh, on the tip on the tips on the thighs, hip thighs. So yeah, everything else, little little teeny stickers. They look good, but they're gonna peel off. Like especially once I have to go over the curved areas, like right this uh, here on the back, and like the ones on the uh, shoulders. Yeah, and even these ones here. I say I go around. And it's not, you know, the feet are a little loose, but for the most part, it does hold together well enough. And it's got decent posability. Uh, it does have elbows, which is good. And I like how they put the uh, the waist joint in the torso, so it kind of, it, it looks good, it's solid, because it is a thinner torso. But you do have some uh, posability, and the fact that the lack of hip skirts Give it some good leg motion. Just needs some knees, but it has some pretty good ankles, so I'm not gonna complain too much with the posability. It's when we get to the accessories that are really sorry to sh the bed. Thin, thin, wafer thin, beam rifle. That doesn't look too bad from the side. Just keep it like that forever. Don't look at don't look enough straight on. Or you can just. Uh, you can pick it onto the back here or on the backpack. Out of sight, out of mind. But then we also have, oh, we're going back to uh, 1999 with the beam saber stick. Thanks for that. <laughs> but the the worst, the most disappointing thing, are the gun bits. You, you only have two that can actually separate, and they're the ones on the shoulders. So yeah, this is just one solid piece of white with a lot of stickers. Which will peel off eventually. It's mostly these ones here that have to curve. These ones should be okay. So if you want it to look right, you do have to take these off. But I mean, once it is all connected, yeah, it looks good. It looks okay. Also, stickers on the hand covers. Ugh. And this is usually where I'd stop talking about the kit, but because it's the EX standard. They threw in a compatibility mode with a 144 kit. You know, for the kids. And it just it includes all the weaponry. Now, thankfully, it doesn't... I don't, I'm trying to think of how it doesn't like affect the weapons. They've already been affected, so I'm not really sure it matters. But it is pretty simple. We're just going to move this over to this other hole. And this little hole here in the beam saber, I mean, it's not that noticeable. Although it does fall out of this little peg very easily, but I guess I thought of that by pegging the beam rifle over top of it. And now you got a kind of cool weapon. Kind of, uh... I'm getting Providence vibes, or maybe even Blitz. Because now you got, like, the beam rifle and the beam saber and the shield piece, so kind of, yeah, kind of Blitz. Yeah, I mean, that's, especially on the high-grade aerial, that's, that's not too bad. And of course you can give it to the SD, there's no reason you can't use it with your uh, SD aerial. Yeah, that's kind of cool. I kind of like that. That's something I really like, these kind of weird weaponized gimmicks for uh, the high grades, but this one's not too bad. But there is a little bit more you can do, because we do have a very big lack of uh, gun bits. So let me reattach the uh, shoulder ones. If you say didn't need the parts on your high grade aerial, or maybe you bought a second one, you you can take a couple of the gun bits 
and put them on the SD. Now the ones you're not going to be able to add without like modifying the existing kit are the ones on the arms. Those ones, there's no hole. Usually high grade or SDs always have holes on their arms, but not this one for some reason. So that's kind of disappointing. But the ones that go on the thighs can go into the existing holes they have here. And you can take this one and take it into the back there. Now yeah, you just have to like spread these really far because it, it's obviously a lot longer than the uh, the kid's legs. So you're almost there. Almost, if only they had holes in the arms. But what I'm going to do, because I can, and this way I don't have to decide on which backpack I want to have my on my high grade aerial, the holes on the back here will fit a high grade backpack with two pig holes, or two pegs. So now it has the maneuverability pack, and I kind of like it. It's nice and chunky. It kind of works, I think, with the uh, proportions. It, it makes them back heavy, but you can easily remedy that by just kind of crotch thrusting a tad. So that's cool. I was wondering what I was going to do with this, and now I know. It makes the SD aerial a little better. So it is better than most EX standard kits, but if you want, you can improve it with from like from the base model, if you want, or just ignore the EX standard line altogether.